third time I'm doing this video and it's only because I keep messing up and I keep saying my brother and sister Christ's name. <sighs> I'm trying to keep their names out of the video. All right, so um, God bless you guys. Let me just say this prayer the third time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. So let me go ahead and get into it. So I woke up and I was in this field and um, this field again was gorgeous it was beautiful the grass was up to my hip and um i looked around and i saw there was a lot of people that was in this field with me and a lot of them had um tr like tribal markings on their bodies and they also had on like native american type outfits and then i looked to my right side and i saw a huge um a waterfall crystal clear and it was rushing down and it was shooting off a uh, mist and then the mist shot off rainbows and then there was a huge big tree that was in the middle of the waterfall that was splitting it in half and then um I felt like that was a tree of life and I felt like the water that was rushing down was anointing from the father's throne so then um I looked back to my left side and I saw uh, a whole bunch of trees now these trees they were tall they weren't like that other tree they were tall and they had leaves towards the top and it was a whole bunch of valleys right and hills so um, when I looked in front of me I saw a sister in Christ God please don't let me say their names I saw a sister in Christ and she was um she was very tall as well she had very thick uh, wavy hair and she had tribal marks on her face um, and she had tribal marks on her arms and she had a two-piece tan um, Native American outfit just like me and so um, she was also glowing and behind her on her right side was an instructor and we were throwing what looked like a coconut or a football I always laugh at this part it was a coconut or a football and um, she threw it to me and I caught it and I threw it back to her and it was just back and forth. And I knew that we were strength training and that we were um, tr testing our accuracy and our speed. And so then I got the urge to run. So I broke out running as fast as I could. And then I jumped off this cliff. And then when my momentum slowed down, I was able to take flight and I flew to the top of the tree of life. And when I was at the top of this tree, I looked all around the valley area and I saw to my no, to the east, I saw more campsites and I saw other brothers and sisters in Christ who were also dressed with uh, Native American outfits with tribal markings. And the brother in Christ, I know he was in a group of men and he, they were all talking and an instructor appeared right before them and told them that we were about to begin a training and so that they needed to come. So I looked back into the field. And I knew that I had eyes of eagles. So when my eyes readjusted to like normal setting, everybody looked so small. They looked like little ants. And so, um, but then I saw them teleport inside of the field with other women. And then um, I saw my sister in Christ. She yelled out to me and I saw the vibration of her voice. And she said, Aspen, we are about to begin. And I knew exactly in my spirit what was going to happen. So she threw the ball to me and it, she threw it so fast that it turned into light itself and I caught it with my uh, my right hand now when I caught it I knew in the spirit that if I was normal that this ball would have took my hand off that's how fast she threw it and how strong she threw it and so then um I was able to zoom in once more but this time it was different like when I zoomed in um, I turned to my right side and I saw myself at the top of the tree of life looking down so I was like I'm in spirit. I'm here. Like I realized I was like, is this one of the gifts that God has given us? So then, um, everybody, the, everybody was in this group in like a, a semicircle and the instructor was in the middle, middle telling us what we were going to do. He said that we were going to be doing a decoy mission. We were going to be doing a decoy training. And so he split the groups and my sister in Christ, she had two men on her group. And then the brother in Christ had two men on his group and everybody else went behind the wall. And then, um, everybody looked at me who was still standing there like, Aspen, aren't you going to join? And then that's when I told them, I said, I am here in voice. I am here as word. I am, um, I am here in voice. I am here as word. And, um, I'm only hearing, hearing. 
And so I spoke to them in like a parable form or something like that. And so the instructor clarified and said, Aspen is here in spirit form and she will be the backup for uh, my sister in Christ. And so that's when um, everybody in the group, they finally understood. They're like, oh, we hear you. There was, they, were, they answered in a parable as well. And so I shot back to myself. And I saw a wall appear, we're netting. And so we all got like down information downloaded to us. And so the training was basically, uh, the sister of Christ with her group was supposed to be purposely captured. And it was, the training was for me to be the backup, to be able to um, attack the guards and the enemy who were blocking her from, um, uh, who were blocking her to pinpoint where the group was and then to go back to myself and get, uh, get back up to come get her out. And then, um, and this was a training to understand if we were ever captured in the future, how we're supposed to operate. Now the brother in Christ and his group, they were supposed to be guards. They were supposed to guard the enemy. So if they ever caught, um, a fallen angel or something, they're supposed to realize that the, there's somebody coming for that fallen angel and they're to, to pinpoint any spiritual attacks that come against them. Me as the enemy, it will be the spiritual attack and they have to be able to see me through, through myself. So um, and if I was attacked their leader, then everybody else was supposed to figure out where I was before I can get the information out. So it was like instruction, decoy, everything. It was a whole big training. So then, um, I projected, I was supposed to also use invisibility. There we go. I projected myself back into the field, but the brother in Christ and his group, they immediately, they were like, she's there. I was like, y'all. Ugh. So, so that's what the instructor was like. He was like, Aspen, start over again because they, you were too visible to the enemy. And so you got to start over to be able to get your teammates out. I was like, okay. So I started over again. And then this time when I projected myself into the field, after the instructor gave the okay to start, I projected myself into the field and I had invisibility this time. It was so much harder to keep that form that I felt myself being like pulled back to myself. So I grabbed to, to stop from exposing myself. I grabbed the grass to center myself, to keep the form of my spirit form and to keep the invisibility. And so, um, when I did that, the guys, they realized that the grass was being blowed this way, but there was a certain area where the grass was being pulled the other direction. So they were like, okay, um, the brother in Christ sent one guy out to look in the field and be like, okay, I think she's out there somewhere. So go over there and go see where she's at. And I was like, oh my God, I was like, they're really good. They're really like trying to find me. So I, I let go of the grass and I floated and then I, I, I glided along the grass and then, um, I was behind the wall while he was, while the other brother in Christ was like searching the field, looking for me. I was like, ah. I'm gone. You can't find me. So, <laughs> so I was behind the wall and I found my sister in Christ and to let her know that I was there without saying anything, I placed my right hand on her chest, uh, on her heart and I pushed and I was, and she, and I was able to, uh, feel her, like her heart, like her understanding of who I was. And she was, and she smiled and she had like a relief on her. She was like, Oh, thank God. She was like, thank you. When? And that's a whole nother connection. I'm going to let you guys know what that means. So then um, when that happened, I found the other brother in Christ. He did the same thing. Took my right hand, placed it on his, uh, over his heart, checked it. And was and um, that's when he was like, he nodded his head. He knew I was there. And then I had to find the other brothers and sister, uh, the other brother in Christ. But I realized that everybody else that became around the wall, they were enemy decoys. I had to, I had to discern. So I had to use my discernment as training to figure out who was on, um, on my sister in Christ's side. And if I didn't pick the right one and the training would have been over and I would have lost again. So I found the right guy and then I flew from, a, from behind the wall. And as I'm coming around, I realized that one of the guys that my brother in Christ has on his team is blindfolded and he's standing right next to him. So I'm like that. I thought that was the weirdest thing. I was like, why is he blindfolded? I'm like, I'm already invisible. I was like, I'm in spirit form. What's the point of being blindfolded? And then he said, until he started to sniff the air, he was like, and he looked at me and I was like, I was like, can he? S no. So then he kept smelling the air and coming at me like really fast. So I moved to my right side and he started following me. I was like, can he smell spiritual energy? And so that's when the instructor 
started laughing. Like, no, he didn't laugh out, out loud just yet. He started smiling. He was like, yeah, that's one of the gifts. And so I was like, oh, my goodness. And so that's when the brother in Christ noticed him. Uh, smelling the air and following a trail and so he came at me and I was like oh my goodness I was like I'm gonna get caught so then I was like okay so I got really mischievous then so I tripped him up I tripped up the one that was blindfolded into my brother in Christ and they fell on the ground and the guy who was blindfolded was like I caught her I caught her <laughs> He was like, I caught her. And I was like, no. And um, I started giggling and my uh, instructor burst out laughing. And I realized, I was like, oh, I'm still on mission. I can't laugh. I'm like, if they weren't so enthralled and like trying to figure out who caught who, then um, they would have heard me. So I zoomed back to my body. When I was in my body, I went and I got reinforcements. And we got uh, my sister in Christ and her teammates out. And then once the whole training was complete, the instructor let us know all of what we were training on. And so I was training on walking in the spirit, using discernment, um, using extending my stealth training that the Lord had showed me the first time in my other dream. My other brother in Christ, he was getting more experience in leading a group and pinpointing spiritual attacks that were invisible um, that or uh, and or that weren't like from an unconventional standpoint, as well as, uh, as well as guarding the enemy. The other sister in Christ was learning, um, trust and she was, uh, and then she was also learning what would happen when, when they're captured and how we, and, uh, to lean on us as teammates to come in. So basically teamwork. So it was a big training on all of these things. So I'm telling you guys this because the Lord is showing me all of these trainings that we're going to be getting on the Island or that we're already receiving now and how to apply them in the, and, and the natural, we have to be able to pull, apply these trainings, walk in the spirit now about by the Holy spirit and, um, uh, and guided by the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, and ask the Lord to teach us to uh, a greater discernment to be able to see when we're being attacked by the uh, by evil spirits. Because sometimes spiritual attacks they won't come at you like um, like in your face, like you know it. Oh, I know this. I rebuke you. Sometimes it come very subtly, and that's the invisibility. That's the, them using stealth against us. So we have to be able to pinpoint that and then rebuke that, or pinpoint that and know a strategy to defeat that. So. Oh, uh, yeah. And then we, uh, after that, we ended up celebrating. We were around a big campfire, all this other stuff. But uh, I pray that this dream blessed you guys. I pray that it helps you understand that we have to be able to uh, go to the Father and ask for training and to be prepared for these things because the enemy is already, they're already training. We have to be prepared too. So God bless you guys. I pray this dream helped. And uh, keep your armor on, repent. God bless you.